Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I mean, hey, it's back. I don't know. I haven't played in a while. Uh, I've been kind of taking it easy. I think that uh, today I will do a normal run, and tomorrow I will do a greed mode run. A lot of people have kind of asked, hey, do you remember greed mode? I'm like, no, actually, I kind of forgot about it. Um, not as much of a fan of it, but it is cool. I like it in moderation. I think it's been quite a while. So, random tells me to play Lazarus. Who is... Alright. You know, Lazarus doesn't have anything particularly interesting going on. But he's not, like, bad. He's just not very unique. But, you know, that's how it goes. So the idea is... Okay, this is basement one. I'm not crazy. Uh, I want to die pretty much on the first floor so that I respawn with a 1.2 damage multiplier and gain some other stats as well as the anemic item. And that's about that. And then I just play the character like it's a normal character with one health because Lazarus does only have one health when he respawns. Uh, some people think it's worth it to save the respawn so that you can overpay for the first or possibly second devil room. I don't think that's worth it at all. Sacrificing the damage for a devil room that you can probably cheese anyway. Uh, since you're unlikely to have something that takes more than, like, two hearts, which you can easily have by then. So, I just don't see the value in it. Because um, the later you go for dying, the less likely it is to actually happen and still be either worth it or safe to do. So, I just don't support that strategy. Due to its very inconsistent likelihood of pay payout. Um, also, I'm not going to use the pill because pills are just kind of bad now. Though they did re-add Friends to the End. If we get PhD, maybe we'll see it. Friends to the End was a pill in the original that they removed with Rebirth. And uh, they finally brought it back. And it uh, gives you three Kamikaze Flies. And that's about it. Uh, by the way, the mic position is slightly changed. Uh, okay, cool. I'm just going to do this now. Also, you get like a million iframes when you uh, die and respawn. You respawn in the same room. Don't think I'm going to be able to make it. Yeah, I didn't think so. But that's fine. Uh, yeah, so I moved the mic a little bit because I got a new microphone arm and uh, another setup for the new uh, hand cam setup on stream when I play like rhythm games and stuff. So it's a little closer. But uh, should be better overall. That means I can have the mic a little quieter, and you'll still get the same sound, but you'll get a little less of the uh, other noise that might exist. It should be good. So I hate this jerk. Besides the fact that it's the haunt, uh, it also spawns spiders. Oh, great, a range up. Alright, so I lost the soul heart. That's kind of unsurprising. Okay, so that can't be the secret room, which means it's most likely next to the, uh, can't be next to the item room. Alright, I'm not finding the secret room, never mind that. Let's just get to it then. I also have the mic in a shock mount now. Uh, that thing's kind of expensive, so I didn't get it for a while. For this particular mic. And again, there's a gear list link for uh, those unaware on the channel and it is up to date completely so it's readily available you don't even have to ask so it no you know I don't know everything worked out but of course I'm open to feedback if you think I should make the mic a little quieter or something uh, for those that mind keyboard noise sorry you're stuck with it there's not really anything I can do about it but it should be lessened at the very least, especially for this game. At worst, it should be the same. Eyeshadow, all right, so we have a chance to shoot a tier that charms enemies. All right, so the way I'm gonna play this is I am going to angle these shots. Then I'm gonna blow up those fires. Grab that, and then still get hit because I'm really good at this game. Oh well, it was a soul heart. So I didn't lose any devil room chance or anything like that. Life is all good. So, this fly only does two damage. It's not super effective at killing stuff. Wow. 
These dudes and their flies are just too much. By the way, anemic is a range up, and when I get hit in a room, I track blood that damages grounded enemies. It's pretty sucky. Just gonna let this dude do all my work, thanks. That was awesome. Excellent work, friend. Oh, that was close. All right, I have bombs, we're good. All right, let's try this soul heart thing again. All right, cool. I have two bombs, so I can definitely get that tinted rock. What I'll try to do is probably lure Monstro to uh, be over there. He jumps again, hopefully, after this one. I'll kill him before he can do anything. That's fine, I'll just get the stuff anyway. Health up. Yeah, that's pretty much all I'd expect. And it's only one hard deal. And Betrayal is like my least favorite item in the entire game. It's super annoying. Every time I get hit, a knife's going to appear on screen. Unless they fix that, I don't know. I doubt they did. But a knife's going to appear on screen. Every enemy in the room is going to get charmed. And I'm just going to be sad. Like, the charm is nice. But... Dang, if the animation isn't annoying. That's really all that I minded about it. It's a really annoying animation to pop up every time you get hit. Every enemy getting charmed is great, because enemies will kill each other. I have to do less work. If I get hit, of course, which, you know, I will try not to. Alright, you're nice. Full map for the floor. I'm just going to use it. Because I'm, like, relatively disadvantaged to this run. I don't have that much in the way of, like, health, bombs, keys... Just want to know where I'm going in general. I like that these guys can jump on the spikes, kill themselves for me. Look at that. The hard ones, like, did my work for me, which is great. These guys die in one hit to, like, any amount of damage. I actually did two-shot them, though, recently, so I, I thought they actually just had, like, one health or something. Where you pretty much physically couldn't not kill them in one hit, but no. No, you can, like, actually have low enough damage to not kill them in one hit. Evidently, which is pretty crazy. Alright, nope. So for now, everything's going to be pretty slow to get done. We're not in super great shape, but we're also not in, like, terrible shape or anything. It's still playable. Alright. Just gonna do that and we're all good. <sighs> okay, the fly is probably more DPS than me, even though it only does two damage per hit because it's the long range one. It's still probably worth it. No, thank you. Ugh. <sighs> That was pretty quick. Oh, thank you. That's a fantastic item to get. That makes it so that I get three soul hearts, and after I get hit once in a room, I have the wafer effect for the rest of that room. Which means that all damage intake will only be a half heart. Nope, that still plays. I wonder if that plays every time, though, or if it will only play sometimes. Because they, like, that, that's just the worst thing. That is the only reason not to take the item, too, because the rest of, like, the item's effect is good. Charming every enemy is pretty effective at killing things. Wow. I was like, oh, no, I've stopped his trajectory from going this way. I'll just keep dodging. Nope. Nope. You stop. Stop thinking the way you're thinking. You're dumb. Oh, that sucks that that uh, bee licker was going to be there. Oh, well. That's why I had the extra health, I guess. And the lucky thing was that I think the bee licker hit me because I only took a half heart of damage. Otherwise, I would have taken a full heart of damage. No bombs. So that's uh, no secret rooms this floor. Which sucks because I used the Ansa's rune. Nope, none for you. Uh, none of life, that is. I was actually a little unsure if I would be able to kill him in time. 
Oh, that's so unfortunate. I really like my dream was to kill the like charger thing or to kill the thing spawning the charger things before it could spawn any chargers with my Kajigger here. And it just didn't work out. So instead I ended up tanking damage. And now I'm fighting Peep, which is my worst boss in the entire game. Besides the Red Champion Mega Maw, which is, like, actually the hardest boss in the game by orders of magnitude. A little bit ridiculous how hard that boss is. I'm not saying it's unfair, though. It's just, like, the hardest by so, so huge a margin... But that may just be me. I mean, it's obviously not just me, but... What I'm saying is there are people out there that don't have any problems with that boss, I'm certain. I don't know who they are, but I would like to become one of them. It seems like a good group to be a part of. Nice. Alright, health up, luck up by one. I'm into that. Let's go. I don't know, man. It doesn't seem that bad. Though I could really use some damage up. Tears up by now. It's getting a little late for things to stay reasonable with what I've got. I love killing enemies before they can do anything at the start of a room. Ah, uh, it's good times. Hey, a bomb. Thanks. Oh, you split. I didn't have anything to do with that. I definitely don't want that trinket. I don't have the health for it to be activating, but I don't want it at all. That's my own fault. Thinking I could get away with stuff that I just couldn't get away with. Nice, thank you. It's interesting that they don't continue doing damage to enemies if they stay in contact, though. Alright, so we're about to run out of soul hearts. Wow, that was just, I mean, clearly my own fault, but like still, what a, what a lunge. Now this is a good item. Also a dangerous item. Basically this uh, adds five explosions to any one of my bombs. So two explosions in each direction. Full damage and all that, and full bomb effects. Uh, super useful. Definitely gonna use it for that. I'll even take my chances with this item. Well, it wasn't worth it. It gave me damage, but it definitely lowered my tears by a pretty reasonable amount. Which is sad. Basically the way experimental treatment works is it randomly raises or lowers each stat. People keep saying that it overall ends up as a stats up. But what that really means is it gives you useless stats and lowers important stats uh, most of the time. So I, I don't like to think of it that way because in reality it's like crippling my damage or crippling my tears almost every time. Well, maybe it gives me range or shot speed or something I don't care about uh, to the extent that I care about those. And just, you know, making my run definitely worse, even if my stats numerically overall are improved. It's definitely a downgrade. Most of the time. Like, I'm just not lucky with it. Some people are lucky with it, and it's like a genuinely good item for them. I'm just not one of those people. I wish I were. Cool, I wish I could get that key too. Cool, unlimited keys for the floor. I really want the shop. Shop would be a good guy to find. Uh, it's not the door, this is the door. No, stop. I don't have the health for this right now. So I got really unlucky about that devil room. Unless I just missed it, which I've done. But I'm pretty sure, like, since I've missed it a couple times, thinking I checked, I, like, check over the room. Like, I scan it three times at least. Pretty sure I did that this time. I don't know. I forgot by now. Let's see what you got. Devil plus two damage. That's cool. Really just need uh, tears at this point, though. 
Obviously, a card wouldn't give me tears, like, permanently or anything, but could be useful. Excuse me. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, I was going to say that should kill all of them, which is good. And I was going to say that the shop is hopefully right here. Because it's a pretty reasonable place for it. I have unlimited keys, and it's just greed. You know, I love when that happens. Greed is such a swell dude. But at least that bomb is effective at killing him in one go. Ugh. Okay, two health. So we're back in business. I would love to get another health drop and go to the curse room. I'll probably go to the curse room anyway, though. Shoot these poops if I have to. Because I really... I want to go, but I don't want to cripple myself too much. I mean, I'm already pretty crippled as far as this run is concerned just because I started as Lazarus, but... That's not quite fair. Of course, Lazarus isn't that bad. I consider him pretty neutral, like I said, just not interesting or special. That's a half heart, it helps, it'll work. I'll be okay with it. Oh, secret room, I don't think I'm finding it. That's okay though, I don't need it. I kinda need it, but I don't need it. Oh, this is good, because this means I could get the multiple soul heart bug, I believe. Yeah. So if you hit a f blue fire with multiple explosions at the same time, it has a chance of dropping uh, a soul heart each time it's blown up, even if it's a bunch of explosions at the same time. So, like on the same fire. So the same fire, as you saw, dropped four soul hearts there on top of one another at the exact same time, so they didn't move. And uh, then the other one dropped two. No, it dropped, yeah, yeah, four and two. Yeah, so that that was um, that's a pretty nice thing. And now the only way to do that is with your own bomb, since the troll bomb chest, troll bombs now have the random fuse times. So even if you get the two troll bombs, they'll not explode at the same time and you won't get that bug. But, with uh, this bomb item I have, Bomber Boy, you can get that every time. And with Bomber Boy, since you're hitting with up to like, I want to say you can hit with two, four, five, up to seven explosions on each fire or on the two fires closest to it, you're pretty likely to get multiple soul hearts. Uh, but you can also do that with the uh, freaking remote detonator. That's the one. I thought for a really long time that they had fixed that bug. But, uh... I had just getting, been getting continuously and consistently unlucky. To the point that even when troll bombs did explode at the same time, I never just, I just never got it anymore. I never ended up with multiple uh, soul hearts in the same spot. So I was convinced that they had fixed it. But everyone was like, no, they haven't. You're just really unlucky. And I'm like, all right, that's fine. Bomber Boy will fix that, I guess. Want to make sure not to blow up the machine? Guess I may as well take the ladder. So I picked up the push pin trinket. Makes it so that my tears have a chance to shoot out as spectral and piercing which is moderately useful and then I picked up the ladder so that I can cross gaps that are one wide which since I don't have flight at the moment is also useful but I'm sure that I'll get flight in this very devil room that I'm guaranteed to get if I don't lose all my soul hearts I believe well soul hearts and take red heart damage I could lose all my soul hearts all I want But, you know, as long as this floor goes all right, I should get the Devil Room right now. And then hopefully I'll get something good out of it. Oops. Sadly, these guys are not attacking me. They are attacking just the world. 
So them being charmed doesn't actually help me at all. Oh my god. Toughest room in the game right here. Toughest room in the game. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. I wish I still had some bombs. Like, when you have a strong bomb run, run out of bombs, everything is just sad from then on. But that's okay. Bomb? Heck yeah, you are. Alright, run away. That's the big thing to remember with Bomber Boy, is that you have to run away from your bombs really far, or at particular angles, or both. I would love that golden bomb. I would. Sadly. No dice. Okay. Two bombs. No. Still not going to use pills. Just not worth. We're good on this, though. Death's Touch. 1.5 damage up. 0.3 tiers down. Piercing tiers and larger tier hitbox. It's good. So definitely worth playing this dude since I have all the soul hearts. Uh, he gives me an item I don't want. But, of course, I pick it up so it doesn't show up in, say, the boss room or the shop. And it was my last item needed for the mom transformation, which gives me a knife trailing behind me. That doesn't matter too much. Uh, but if I get any enemies chasing me, it'll help. It'll, like, be good. Oops, I went too close. Uh, I can use it to my advantage is the idea. All right, go on the door. Definitely damage up for Monstro 2. Nope. So that is another tears down for me, which is kind of unfortunate. All right. Set. Yeah, I was gonna say. Sadly, it's really not worth uh, standing right next to Monstro 2's landing so that the knife hits. But it is when it does a small hop like that, because as you can see, the knife does a lot of work. Speed up by 0.3, probably worth. Uh, sadly, we got Krampus in our guaranteed devil room. Oops. Alright, I made it this time. Didn't get hit by the spin. Which is good. Screw that attack. And we might get a lump of coal here, which wouldn't be bad since I have gotten some range ups. And you make probably experimental treatment. I also wouldn't have minded his active item, though, because I don't have an active item. So one that does a bunch of damage is fine. So that uh, item increases the damage and size of my tiers based on the distance they've traveled. Which is cool. I like it. Ah, yeah, screw it. I'll go in. I don't have any bombs, though. If I had gotten blue fires, I would have been sad. Gotta remember I have the ladder. I always forget about the ladder. 100% of the time. Because I never buy it. Like, it's just not a purchase that I generally would make. And, like, when I don't buy it, I have no reason to remember it. Because I only picked it up because it was free, you know? Hello, friend. Never bombs. Oh, why did I... Sorry, I didn't really look at that situation at all. I just kind of did the thing. Let whatever happen. Oh, my fire rate is not helping me here. All right, we're, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Oh, nice, I one-shot them from at least a certain distance. Thank you for the soul heart. I needed that. I was using those up. A little too quickly. Unlimited keys for the floor is good. Even if it doesn't come with unlimited bombs, which I need more at this point in time. That was lucky, by the way. Uh, the body didn't have to die as well. Unless I had hit it and I just didn't realize. Like, I'd love to go over there. Let's see what's in here. I would 100% reroll my build. But the cancer trinket's actually a really big deal. Minus two fire rate delay. Uh, that improves my fire rate, but has an increasing effect the higher my fire rate already is. It subtracts directly from the delay between tiers rather than going through the normal tiers formula. 
which I don't happen to know, but I know it's similar to the damage formula, which is using a square root. Luck up's nice. Uh, that puts us to one luck. Lazarus spawns with negative one when you respawn with your uh, Lazarus respawn. If you didn't already have zero luck, you're set to zero luck. Uh, oh, I actually want to go in there. Whoops. Uh, Mom's wig is nice. As long as I'm holding shoot, uh, there's a chance that I spawn a spider. Spiders do two and a half times my damage. When... Uh, well, it can spawn up to five spiders total. Once one spider dies, it can spawn another. Guess I may as well take this. So this gets me a card every six rooms. Why not? Joker. Sounds good. Don't really need the fool this time. I'm not making boss rush, so I don't need to worry about stealing from boss rush. Joker's just a devil room teleport, so as soon as I don't make a devil room happen, uh, which will be because of luck most likely, I'll just, you know, pop the Joker and my life will be good. Get the devil room anyway. Right about now it would be good if I, uh, good positioning there. If I got rid of uh, my red hearts. Again, stuff that's easy to set up, like the foot stomp and chasing enemies that chase you directly. Perfect timing for the trailing knife. Oh, I didn't do that right. That's okay, though. The thing it's really bad at, though, is, uh, like, stationary enemies. You can't really get it with stationary enemies to work nicely. Alright, so definitely no devil room. Flight. And uh, if I get something that affects my speed, it'll be 0.3 speed up. Which is cool. I don't really need the speed, so it's fine if I don't get it, but... Hey! If I do, yeah, I do. So, of course, that was a quick need for my free uh, double room there. The flight will help a lot as well. You can access everything. See a, like, bomb or something I can't get to. I'll just go fly to it. I would appreciate... If you would die. Ah, oh, dang, I didn't move soon enough. So now I do take a half heart from everything, even though it's the womb. And of course, I have that wafer effect. But, uh... You know, I'm not gonna seek out getting hit. Because every hit is expensive right now. Empress is 1.5 damage up and 0.3 speed up for the room. Wow, I guessed that perfectly. I'll take it for once. So we still have the 50% reduction of our double room here, but we don't have the 25% chance. Uh, or 25% of our chance, of course. Which is nice. That's the perk of not earning the last double room, but still going to it. Doesn't reduce my chance anyway. So that's a uh, speed up, size down, and a pill. Which I'm okay without, of course. Wow, I really want both of those things. But I'm going to go ahead and say that Guppy's Hairball is the safer bet. And then I'm just going to take this because I'm greedy. Uh, this gives me a soul heart so I can do that. It's 0.2 speed up, 1 damage up. Uh, technically a bad trip would still kill me right now, so I guess I'm not going to risk the pill. I was going to risk the pill, and then I decided, wait, that would not be the smartest thing that I could possibly do. Alright. So let's just try to not get killed. I always got to play risky, though. If I don't play risky, I don't get to do the fun stuff. So... Guppy's hairball is perfect at blocking tears, which is nice, so I can just position it right in front of myself relatively easily, like that, and any tears from the front of me won't hit me. Uh, it's got a much bigger hitbox than it might seem like it would have from its appearance, so it's all good, man. Also, I still only have one bomb, and I haven't used any bombs, I just haven't gotten a bomb drop in like two floors. Uh, I don't know what's up with this bomb luck, but that's rare. Speak of the devil, man. Speak of the devil. And at this point, 
Should definitely blow that up. Just in case of exactly that happening. Okay, there we go. Had to play that a little carefully, and I don't really care about having the fools, so... We all good. That was stupid, but it worked out. There we go. Also looking out for tinted rocks just in case, but... No. At least I have two health now. I should be pretty okay. Almost messed that up. Of course, we do have the hardest part of the mom fight first, where we have to deal with the eyes, but I'm really fast, so that's the plus side. I don't know why I went this way. I should have gone up. Plus side is I can just camp out on the gap here and not worry about the enemies too much. All right, it's going to be down from that room just because, nope, I actually was right to go up first. I just didn't do it. Okay, this is worrisome. I just don't have the fire rate where I can focus on the enemies that I want to focus on first. As far as making the room easiest, I just have to focus on what I have, like, what I can't avoid most. Not always easy. Please, thank you. I don't agree with that. No. Alright, I'm going to back off. I think that the hairball was in position, but I just don't think it was worth messing with it. When I can just camp it out now. No problem. Alright. Of course, I can survive one hit right now. Just keep that in mind, but... You know, it would be better if I didn't. Hey, perfect. I was just going to say it'd be nice if I had a joker, and now I do. But we don't get a pact or anything good like that. Or like Abaddon, anything that gives me a bunch of health. Or even a reasonable amount of health. So, I'm a little out of luck. And that's alright. Uh, this room, not up to me if I die, sadly. I'm a little afraid to... Uh, that's not what I expected. I'm a little afraid to take full advantage of my ability to use the knife on this because of that. Uh, but, I mean, that's my own fault. I didn't have to play that as risky at that point because the fight was basically over as soon as he decided to not do an unfair attack. But I that, that was why I didn't want to use the knife for that because it's tough to space with that uh, particular attack because the shadow doesn't give you any time to react to it, really. You just have to know it's coming. Um, I messed up a little. It's fine. That was a pretty disadvantaged run from the start. Uh, taking it that far was surprising. Um... That's it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.